In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, Eternal Father, and grant that, seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, The Lord your God today commands you to observe these laws and customs. You must keep and observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. You have today made this declaration about the Lord, that He will be your God, but only if you follow His ways. Keep his statutes, his commandments, his ordinances, and listen to his voice. And the Lord has today made this declaration about you, that you will be his very own people, as he promised you, but only if you keep all his commandments. Then, for praise and renown and honour, he will set you high above all the nations He has made, and you will be a people consecrated to the Lord as He promised. The Word of the Lord They are happy who follow God's law. They are happy whose life is blameless who follow God's law. They are happy to do His will, seeking Him with all their hearts. They are happy who follow God's law. You have laid down your precepts to be obeyed with care. May my footsteps be firm to obey your statutes. They are happy who follow God's law. I will thank you with an upright heart as I learn your decrees. I will obey your statutes. Do not forsake me. They are happy who follow God's law. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said, You must love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I say this to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In this way you will be sons of your Father in heaven, for he causes his Son to rise on bad men as well as good, and his reign to fall on honest and dishonest men alike. For if you love those who love you, what right have you to claim any credit? Even the tax collectors do as much, do they not? And if you save your greetings for your brothers, are you doing anything exceptional? Even the pagans do as much, do they not? You must therefore be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel ends with quite a demanding statement from Jesus when he says, you must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. We always joke among ourselves, the brothers, when there were programs, events, or cooking that didn't go well as we wanted, we cover it up by saying, oh, it is meant to be like that because perfection is for God alone. But here Jesus is telling us that we too can be perfect 
like our Heavenly Father. But what does He mean by this? Jesus is calling us to perfection, not to perfectionism. To be a perfectionist is to be an extreme precise person, demanding that everything be done precisely right, down to the last detail. While Jesus said, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, it is not about preciseness. It is about the perfection of love. Jesus stresses that our love must be perfect just as that of the Heavenly Father is perfect. And I believe each and every one of us who are tuning into this liturgy of the world has something in us that moves us wanting to be closer to God each day. And that awareness of the loving divine presence within us and around us is our best gift from God. But how do we respond to this gift from God? In response to this love, each person is called to love God with all your heart and all your soul. And to love God means to love and be merciful not only to our neighbor, but to our enemies and to all the recipients of the Father's reign, good and bad, honest and dishonest people. Now that's the standard of perfection according to Jesus. To follow Jesus fully is to learn to love without condition, even so far as loving those who have harmed us or make life difficult for us. We are to go on loving regardless how people respond to us. Perhaps this whole thing seems to be unrealistic and it's too idealistic and we might not even reach close to that level of perfection in our life. but we can grow towards it with God's help. Jesus Christ is the perfect example to go on loving despite the harsh and cruel treatment he received until his final breath on this cross and as he uttered his final words, it is consummated or it is perfected. Like Jesus and Saint Joseph who have listened to the Heavenly Father and obeyed his command, let us then ask the Lord to guide us and to help us through this great season of Lent, teaching us how to live and to love perfectly like Him with all our heart, all our mind, and all our strength. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those we refresh with this divine mystery and accompany with salutary consolations those who have imbued with heavenly teaching through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us all and our loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend.